Cebu City, the oldest city in the whole of the Philippines and the very first place where the Spanish came and settled. But what's it like in 2022? Let's find out. After almost two weeks on the hole, it was time to move on to our next destination. But after realizing we didn't give it a fair shot, we wanted to swing by Cebu on the way and spend the next 24 hours exploring the city. So right now, guys, we are located on General Maxilom Street, which I think is also known as Mango Avenue. And we are trying to get to Colon Street, which is a bit further south, but we're trying to avoid taking a taxi because we want to try and get there in the most local way possible. We're looking for a jeepney, can't see any at the moment, but we're going to keep looking. Hopefully finding a jeepney here will be a little bit easier than in Manila, but we did look through the comments and noticed that it was our fault we were in the completely wrong place. So we've learned from that that we need to make sure we're in the right place on the street and also to look at the destination on the front of the jeepney. Like if you just look over here you've got a huge roundabout and it's covered in green grass it's got a statue in the middle and it's just like really really well built and it looks beautiful we have located a jeepney but we don't know if we can get on yet let's see <laughs> this feels a bit like a repeat of Manila. We're not entirely sure where this is going, but. Well, I did say, are you going to Cologne Street? And he said yes. <laughs> 20 right, pesos, so. I think. 20. Thank you. So that was 10 pesos each, the same as Manila. And this time it was way easier because we were on the right side of the road, going to the right like destination. Perfect. <laughs> we're getting used to it now. Cebuano way of life. <laughs> I just love how much the drivers have to multitask. They have to drive, they have to deal with money, like the fare, and then they also have to answer stupid tourist questions. <laughs> how much is it? Where are you going? <laughs> An actual successful jeepney trip. We did, it. we did it. We got on where we wanted to get on, we got off where we wanted to get off. So we have arrived at the area known as Colon or Colon Street and it is popping off. This place is wild, it's like Piccadilly Circus in London but more, way more. It actually does give me Piccadilly Circus vibes from London, it really does, especially this junction here. So this is Colon Street and one of the most popular parts of Cebu and I'm not sure if this is true but it's also known as one of the shortest and oldest national roads in the Philippines. That is one of the coolest jeepneys I've ever seen. Look at the artistic flair. That is amazing. Look at it go. The jeepneys here are definitely more colourful and more extravagant. I love them. They're really fun to look at. So along with it being the shortest and the oldest road here in the Philippines, it also appears to be the busiest. Yeah, it's a little bit overwhelming in parts, in a lot of parts. I just got rained on by some air conditioning. <laughs> but that is completely expected. You know, it's a city, it's an old city. There's a lot of people here. There's a lot of cars, a lot of motorbikes. You know, it's all about the hustle and bustle here. We've got Colonnade Shopping Mall here. Oh. And wow, what's this? This looks really nice. You've got loads of coffee shops lined up there. And look at the design of the building. It's got like that grass going along the side. It's got a, a nice sign going all the way down. It's really beautiful actually, I quite like that. Cebu is actually really modern in some parts. You wouldn't expect that. Yeah. For quite an ancient city. You've definitely got to look where you're walking here, otherwise you're gonna fall over many times. Salamat. This is well needed, boiling. Mayong Hapon, Kamustaka. Okay, so Colon Street, we came, we saw, we sort of conquered. Now it's time for a bit of history, I think. 
Ma young hapon. Ma young hapon, sir. You can get one buko juice. This one, natural. Your best buko juice, please. Ten. Ten. You got ten? I've got ten. Give me the money. No, I don't have ten. Hold on. One second. We have fifty. Okay. Do you have change? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Forty. Can I open? Please. For you. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Thank you, my friend. Salama. Salama. Thank you. Oh, there is nothing better than a fresh buko juice in I the morning. Or well, in the afternoon, I should say, but... I love these ones, because we had this one in Mulba, was it? The first time. It was so good. Cheers. Oh. Mm. oh. That is so good. I'll leave you some, don't worry. Mm. Little coconutty bits. Coconut makes Adam happy. And yeah, Z, if she ever gets some. Mm. There's fresh coconut inside as well. <laughs> <laughs> Refreshing, ain't it? My own hapon. Hello. <laughs> Hello. My own hapon. Welcome to my vlog. Welcome to my vlog. Hello. What's your names? Your name is Ace. Ace? Yes. What a great name, Ace. That's so cool. Yeah. You? Papi. Papi? Yes, sir. Papi? Uh, Leomar. Myanmar. Leomar. Leonmar. And your name? Mark. Mark. Mike. Subscribe. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. 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 So we've just turned off Cologne Street and immediately it's a lot quieter. And we've just happened upon this little market selling all sorts of things, but mainly food. Whoa. That is very unexpected here. It we looks just, like a basilica. We just come across it, like just randomly. It's so nice. Crossing the road is an activity within itself here. Look at all these taxis lined up. So many of them. I think this is a hot spot for locals and tourists. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You're going to stop for us. Thank you. Let's go. At the bottom. Hello. At the back. Go inside. At the back. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, this way, sorry. <laughs> okay. So we had to go around the back of that basilica to get in, and then we came across this place, which is the Magellan's Cross, I believe. Another big attraction here in Cebu. What are these? Love. Love. This is loves. Okay, I'll take love. Work. Work. Love and work. Love and work. There you go. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. And where do we do we put them there? No, inside. Okay. Offering a candle. Offering a candle. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So we've got two candles, guys, and I think we put them here as an offering. Look at the artwork on the wall. That is insane. <laughs> Apparently, this cross is named after a Portuguese explorer called Ferdinand Magellan who came to Cebu in 1521 and planted it right in the centre of Cebu. And it commemorates the event and the introduction of Christianity to the Philippines, which makes sense because this is actually where Christianity was born or founded in Asia. We weren't expecting to go into the basilica, we just stumbled upon it. Um, and I just got denied entry because I'm not wearing appropriate clothing. I'm wearing, I've got my shoulders and my chest out. So they said I'm not allowed in, which is fair enough. Completely understand. It was still nice to see from the outside though. And now we're heading towards San Pedro. I'm excited to see that. This building over here looks very grand. Cebu City Hall. Very nice building. Massive flag outside it as well. Look at it, flapping in all its glory. That building says City Hall as well. Maybe that's the old one and that's the newer one. No shortage of Ronald McDonald's in this city either. And here we are, the Fort of San Pedro. Wow, this place is beautiful. Kind of takes me down memory lane. That is a column in the middle of the square and that is a dog doing a poo. Hello. Leave him to do his business, Adam. <laughs> and here it is, Fort San Pedro itself, constructed by the Spanish after they arrived to fend off any attacking armies. 
well, it didn't work out for them in the end, of course, but you have to give them an A for effort. We are in, it costs 30 pesos per person, which is very, 60 cents. very cheap. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the flooring and you've got palm trees surrounding it. Beautifully carved plants and bushes. There's even a comfort room, which I doubt was an original installation. That's probably a lady. <laughs> oh my God, look at these little kitties. You're so tiny. Look at these guys. This one. And this one. Oh, can I just take them all home? Should we call it Pedro? <laughs> Pedro! I don't know if there's anything else to do here. I think this is pretty much it. Oh no, how wrong I am. There's actually a gallery full of paintings. Wow. And then, yeah, there's actually a ramp going up to the top. Aha, this is more like it. Now we get a little bit of a view. It's not very high up, but still, cannons. Oh, I like cannons. I didn't know you could come up to this bit. I literally touched the cannons. That is so cool. There is a slightly higher point, but it seems to be locked out of bounds. Never mind. It's so good to just touch these ancient, ancient walls. I love being able to do that, just connecting with history. And, you know, 21st century lighting. Oh, and a lovely, lovely breeze up here too. Really helped. There's a stage set up over there for something and it says Cebu City Government. Anyone have any idea what that's for? Leave it in the comments. Right guys, we have worked up an appetite and it is time to find something to eat, Filipino style. You know what that means? Another jeepney ride! Okay guys, change of plan. We did want to get a jeepney, but there didn't seem to be many around and we didn't know if they'd go to where we wanted to go. So we are in a taxi on the way back up to Mango Square. <laughs> Okay guys, 10 minute drive later and we've made it back to the Mango Avenue area where we're going to have lunch. Eden's vegan, so much to choose from. Lots of yummy, yummy Filipino food. Hello, how are you? Hello, sir. How are you? I'm good. Oh, they've got vegan chicken nuggets. Vegan chicken nuggets. <laughs> They've got vegan spaghetti, which I'm really fancy, but I want something a bit more Filipino. We have tofu sisig, caldereta, lumpia, spaghetti. Oh yes, barbecue. Vegan barbecue. Barbecue for me, for sure. They've even got burger steak here, chicken nuggets. Goyong? Yeah. Is that how you say it? Goyong? Yes, right. Okay. Carbonara. So much to choose from, but I'm going vegan barbecue all day. This is the very nice, quiet part of Cebu. Almost nobody around here. We're the only people eating. There's a Korean barbecue place just up there. But other than that, it's tables and chairs up. Right. God, it feels good to sit down after all that walking. What have we got here? This is a Malangay lemonade, which I have never tried before. It looks like it's got loads of fresh mint in it. I love mint. Mm -mm. Oh, that smells good. Sort they can't smell it. Minty and lemony, bits of mint. Mm. <laughs> it's very mild, actually. Oh, I thought that was going to be a lot more punchy. It's yeah. very, very mild. No, it's nice though, refreshing. Oh, thank, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Whoa. That Feast. looks yummy. Thank, thank you. you. Oh my God, that looks amazing. So we've got a tofu sisig which we tried in, not the last video, but the video before that. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I'll leave a link up here. And this is the vegan, vegan barbecue, barbecue, which I'm really excited about. It looks so good. Wow. And the lumpia, they're like the veggie spring rolls. They're like the biggest lumpia I've ever seen. Right, I'm going in. Mm. Wow. 
That looks insane. It's smothered in tomato ketchup and it's amazing. Barbecue, I think. Maybe tomato ketchup. I think ketchup. it's ketchup. Yeah? But it tastes really good. We finally get to have meat on a stick in Southeast Asia. Oh, it tastes good. Woo! Mm. Oh my God, how is that not meat? That is incredible. That texture is insane. It's super, super chewy and mm. sticky and gooey on the outside as well. Mm. We're completely yeah. neglecting the rice, but... Oh yeah, I'm also interested to try these. They've got, also got ketchup on them too. Mm. That sounded super crunchy again. Oh mm, god, that is so good. Really, really crunchy and then the inside oh. is salty and full of vegetables. Seriously hot as well. And that ketchup really complements it. Mm. Wow. Look at the size of it. We're so hungry, I don't think we've ever eaten this fast. <laughs> wow. Mm, that is delish. Absolutely delightful. Wash it down with some melengue. Lots of sweet and lots of sour and lots of salty. I feel like I want more of those. <laughs> I want more of those and I want more of the barbecue. Mm. Now it's time for some sisig. I'm going for a spoon actually. There we go. Tofu sisig. Mmm. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, it's so meaty. I feel like I'm less nervous to try food now because everything we've had is so good. Everything's been so good. Haven't had a bad Filipino meal yet. No, it's so flavorful. Right, I'm going in. Mmm. That was a really nice flavor. Very meaty. A bit mushroomy as well. Yeah, a bit mushroomy because there's mushrooms in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and quite spicy. Yeah, I was just going to say. Oh my god, I need to order more of this food. And some nice healthy brown or red rice, I think it is. Going back into the lumpia. Mm -hmm. Wow. Filipinos do lumpia spring rolls very, very well. They do. I'm very impressed by the spring rolls, not gonna lie. Oh, it's getting busy here. Thank you very much, Eden's Vegan, for keeping us fed. Now onwards. All right, guys, we're at the Fuente Osmeña roundabout, as you can see right in front of me, and Americans watching. You will not feel out of place here. They've got all the home comforts. Dunkin' Donuts right there. 7-Eleven a couple of doors down. McDonald's, KFC. The list goes on and on and on. Right, brutal honesty time. What do we really think of Cebu City? Well, personally, it's definitely not our favorite place in the Philippines, that's for sure. Well, that is only because we aren't city people. Like, we are island people at heart. Having said that, Cebu City, seeing it in the flesh, the oldest city in the whole of the Philippines, 500 years old. All the history, the architecture, the culture, for that reason alone, it cannot be skipped. It's loud, it's chaotic, and if you love that kind of thing, you will love Cebu City, and you cannot miss it, whether you're a city person or an island person. And on that note, hit the subscribe button for more Philippine adventures, and we'll see you in the next video. Ciao! Bye.